after seeing the news, uh, I got worried and uh, I was unhappy to see the situation right now in India. The second wave in India, it took such an ugly turn. That's the reason I decided to do something about it. My name is Urmila. We moved to Hong Kong in September 2017. We moved here because of my husband's work. I am a teacher by profession, an artist by passion. I have not seen my parents in two years now and uh, I'm their only child. On a daily basis, I was actually hearing about things like, you know, my classmates or my friends losing their parents or their spouse. It went from like one to hundred really fast. It kind of hit me that it's bigger than me just missing my own parents. That's the reason I decided to do something about it. My idea for the fundraiser was that people could contribute any amount. No matter what you contribute, you will get my artwork. I did my research and I boiled down to this one NGO, which is very popular at the moment because they're doing great work with the COVID relief in India. And they're very transparent with their work. And 100% of the proceeds from this fundraiser would go to this NGO in India. Now on Instagram, I have, I think, around 1,300 followers. And my followers are not really the most active followers. Suddenly, my so-called inactive followers became very active. Almost everyone shared it. I reached out to people who had a better reach. Most of them shared it. This fundraiser went on for nine days. It was nice that towards the end, I had announced that I would you know, close off the fundraiser on Monday, 10 a.m. Till 9.59, there were people who were you know, wanting to buy the artwork. That was a nice feeling, honestly, because now I feel that my art has a lot of meaning. All the lovely people that bought my art, whenever they look at that artwork, they're never, not they're going to think that, oh, is this an addition to my decor? It's actually a memory of meaningful contribution that they made. So yes, it, my art has more meaning now. I'm 44 years old and I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. My ancestors were from Punjab. We have been here like uh, 40 something years now. My elder sister is there. So I, I call her every two days to see uh, how the situation is. And uh, she will tell me that uh, it's, it's getting worse and worse. I own the uh, NGO. So I started uh, asking around uh, how could I or my NGO help out. Someone did uh, link me up with the India side. There's a uh, Sikh temple there in India, New Delhi. They have turned it, the uh, temple into a uh, hospital. They have many beds there. They are in need of uh, lots of medical supplies. I have uh, contacted them and they told me what uh, supplies they need. So I'm gathering as much uh, supplies as I can right now. I have gathered uh, masks, oxygen concentrators, oxygen regulators, and the uh, heart rate uh, monitoring machines. You have to make decision right away whether you want to purchase or not. Because uh, once you hesitate, or even if you take one more day to give the order, the machines are gone. The price is going to go higher and higher. So it's better I source it out quick, then I can uh, get whatever supplies I need, then we can slowly you know, send it back to India. I've now spent it like uh, around $100,000, and I think it will go over the budget. I do usually go back to India once a year. Last year, before the pandemic, I was there to see my relatives there. Even, even though I'm born here, but I'm bound to that uh, country. Yeah, I want to go back. I'm waiting for it to end, you know.